Alright. We got ourselves a package. And I'm doing this outside because this is a little bigger than fits in the spot where I normally do my unpacking. And this is going to be a true... I don't know what exactly is going to be in here. I mean, I, I know what's going to be in here, but the condition and all that. A lot of times I take a peek first, right? Okay. Got a little packing paper. Oh, yeah. Well, the handle's been used. <laughs> oh, that. The days of playing games are 100% over. The slide hammer. And you may say, what is the slide hammer for? Well, slide hammer, I hope I never use this thing. But I'll tell you a little story. <clears throat> so, there's my current slide hammer. And this is for doing automotive dent, light dent repair. The whole system. I'm, I'm not gonna bring the whole system out. But, oops, man, I'm gonna break a bunch of junk here. So, anyways, with this system, it's this little hook pocket deal thing, and there's these little tabs. You glue them to the auto body, and then you take the slide hammer. So I'm gonna do without, and it just knocks the stuff off. It's called a super PDR. God, I hope that's more than five pounds. I'm gonna be upset with myself. Anyways. Yeah, ended up getting myself a nice little uh, blood blister there. I was working on my buddy's, uh, you know, a Polaris. Well, I'll just put it at that. Fixing a Polaris is what I was doing. And uh, CV, axle, whatever, absolutely wouldn't come out. Internet says 15-minute job. The experts say 30-minute job. Well, in reality, when your CV joint's broken and wedged inside there, it's a three-hour job. That is, once you get around to using a slide hammer and you get lucky and it finally comes out. And that thing was not a Because you can see, we, we resorted to using a goddamn three-pound sledge and wailing. Oh, man, I'm losing light out here. This whole edge is all dimpled out now. I don't know if I can get that angle up right so you can see it, but... And it's fine. It doesn't affect anything, but it's all mushroomed out because you're not supposed to hammer on these. But that's how we got it out. We used that. But basically what we did is we took washers, put them on here, and then took vice grips and clamped around the edge to fill the hole. And then when we pulled it out, the washer hit the vice grips. It, I mean, I think it was officially stuck. So let's take a look at this thing. I want to be sad if that's a five pounder already. Oh, no, this is way bigger. Woo! I like it already. So the reason I went with the... That's crazy. He's laminated, laminated card. The reason I went with the gear wrench is because I own some gear wrench tools, and my experience with gear wrench is they do not play games with their warranty. If your thing's broken, my experience is I've called. I think sometimes you have to send them the things in. Sometimes you don't. I don't really know. I've never had to send in. I've been more than willing to send in. But from my experience is, hey, I'm, I'm wrenching on a car. My wrench just broke. It's usually the gears. I got those ratcheting, creakety, creakety, creakety. I've had a couple of those go bad. They send them to you in the mail, just like that. It's like, dude, I like that. Um, I know Tecton is another company I started buying tools with. They just want you to send you, a, you, send, you text them a photograph. Just a photo, and you're good. So here's the thing. This right here. Oh, man, I'm excited about this tool. What this is is you screw this into your vice grip. That's right. And then you hook this in to the slide hammer. And you bam a slam a jam a let's get my hands out of the way. Slam a jam. So you throw the weight this way, everything comes back out that way. I got a set of vice grips on the end now. Oh yeah. I'm pulling all small children's teeth with this bad boy. So we got an inside hook. We got the teeth pullers that go in and out. Here's a two a two prong adapter, three prong adapter. Everything seems legit, nice and heavy. This is the cone that makes it all work. These are hub pullers. So, yeah, I think the way this works is you. Uh, 
Oh, you screw that into something. Oops, God, my camera angle is terrible. That's just a lag. I mean, whatever, but whatever you can screw a lag into, you're dialed. So, yeah. That, that, the, I mean, anything you can screw that into, you're, you're extracting now. Full extraction. But yeah, I was excited about that. That's, that's the vice grip attachment. Oh, man. I mean, obviously, you back the vice grip grippy part out and that's your that's the that's the thing how cool is that and I know uh, OTC or o OCT or something I don't know there's another brand of slide hammer that people really say is good good quality for the price I mean obviously this is no snap on or anything crazy like that but uh, I don't know lifetime warranty it's like I guess if it breaks when I'm using it, I'll be a little upset but like like I looked at Harbor Freight, 80 bucks for a Harbor Freight. Now you can get a coupon and a discount. You can get a little cheaper. You get a 30 day warranty. And what I was reading was like, like metric threads, nothing threads into it, just a nightmare. This was like 80 bucks. Home Depot, bam, delivered for free. Tax, extra $6. Yeah, that's a little bit of money, but like, the end of the world shows up like they're talking. Yeah, this thing's gonna be worth its weight in gold. Cause this is the fix your shit fucking device. And man, I wish I would have had this for, I've been wanting one of these for like literally as long as I wanted an air compressor and a side by side my whole life. And after using this little tiny one and getting good results out of it, the light, the, I mean, it, it was just like, dude, I, this obviously we, we abused this one. We, it was not used correctly, but it worked. Like I got it out and I wouldn't want to do that all the time. You know, I wouldn't want to like totally mash smash it because it is a nice little unit. It's got hot glue gun and all that and you can take all your dents out. So I was like, dude, life is short. Get the tools you want. I know some people think that's crazy. Like, you know, if you're going to use it once, rent it. You know, there's all these experts that know how, the, how you should live your life. So the expert could tell me, rent a tool if you're going to use it once. Buy a tool if you're going to use it a bunch and make money on. Well, guess what? I don't order takeout food, so I just buy tools. That's what I do. I don't buy handbags, I buy tools. I collect tools, I'm into tools. And I like good ones. Not necessarily like super like, uh, like I'm not a name snob, like I don't need like, oh, all my impact drivers must be a red badge named after a town in Wisconsin. You know, like, no, I'm not like that at all. I'm about value, performance, and for me personally, it's about warranty. It's always about warranty because, unless it's such a piece of shit that I gotta warranty it 55 times, but, I've hardly ever worn a tool out in my life. The only tools I've really worn out are super cheapy, like Harbor Freight, Lamo, just garbage, garbage. I mean, damn, that is stout. That is some thick ass shit there. Yeah, hub puller. Whoop. And I think it's also, you can go old school where you got like, uh, you can just get this guy out. I think that just threads in. And it's just a manual puller then, just a straight up old school puller. But it's the slide hammer. I mean, I've been I've been learning about slide hammers for a long time, and just always wanted one. Just always wanted a slide hammer. Just decided that I was just gonna stop wishing and just do it. Actually, the thing that threw me over the edge is when I found it for like I don't know, twenty bucks cheaper than Amazon wanted for it or something. So I was like, oh, that's a no brainer. Must be a fluke, and I love flukes, so I jumped all over it. It's a nice case. Probably. I'm sure someone makes a nicer case. I mean, obviously there's always something nicer. But, uh, yeah. I think there's a Taiwan unit, if I if I remember right. I'm, I mean, I don't, I don't see it on here, but I'm almost positive. That's, yeah, made in Taiwan. So they're Taiwanese tools. I've been, I've had pretty good luck with Taiwan tools. Um, the only thing I know about Tecton is some of their actual Pliers are actually American made pliers, super high end stuff. So, I was looking at some channel locks the other day because I was trying to do something else, and channel locks would have been the solution to my problem. But I don't actually, it's kind of weird. I've lived this long and never had a big pair of channel locks. I don't own any. I have small channel locks, but I don't have any really big ones. I don't fit in there very good. Anyways, that's probably long enough video. So, yeah, that's my jam. I don't know if that helps anybody out or hurts their feelings or what it does, but it's not a how-to video. This is just like, uh, that's me doing my thing. So yeah, 
wasn't even working on my own stuff and I decided to get a new tool. Love it. Love tools. All right. Stay safe.